things had some spines on it. But he catch back on the trailer, so what, y'all do a little blow on the bow? Because it was totally full of the white powder from the uh, fire extinguisher. It was embarrassing to me. I try to keep people on their toes when I go pretty much everywhere and anywhere. I hang out by the ladies' restroom to meet women because when they come out, they're relieved to see me. And I try to go through the public's express lane with a dozen eggs, and I actually have to explain that one. They just don't even get it at all. I go to McDonald's, and I'll order a half dozen nuggets, and they'll say, sorry, we only have six, nine, or 12. And, you know, some people, they go through the drive through they take it literally, and that's how they end up on the news. I'm sorry I missed it. Got the accelerator instead. Yeah, well, would you like it through the window? Sonic does that, but not like this. It's crazy. But uh, once in a while, I do catch people off guard. I'll go to the McDonald's, and I'll order a bottle of x lax And, yes, believe it or not, they will actually say, would you like it to go? I just can't write these jokes and just write themselves. Every time I go to the Publix pharmacy counter, I go up to the window and I ask a couple of the hot looking girls behind the counter there, the computers, hey, you want to go to a movie uh, Saturday night? Go to a movie with me? And they're like, eh, not interested. I said, never mind, you didn't even get it at all. I'm sitting behind five people and it says right above the open counter, pick up. And I'm in a line. I mean, these jokes just write themselves. These folks just don't even get it. I even told them once I painted a portrait of an F-150 on canvas because I'm a pickup artist. And they didn't even get that one either. I tell you, though, I tried this one line at a bar. I said, excuse me, my face leaves in five minutes. Be on it. But that definitely didn't work too well. And last night... Uh, I had a great night with this one gal because my lungs didn't give out. I was able to blow her up pretty good. Problem is, she farted and flew out the window. Oh, I'll tell you what, though, that's the last time Mises will let me borrow one of their balloons. <laughs> well, I was going to tell you a story about Santa Claus. Uh, you know how the angel ended up on the top of the tree? Uh, Santa was having a bad time one year, and uh, the missus was giving him a problem, and the reindeer had the runs. And this angel just came walking up to the door, all cute little angel, said, Excuse me, Santa, I just got this tree for you. Where would you like me to put it? Uh, and that is it. how the angel ended up on top of the tree. <laughs> got I do it. I have a few questions for you. Uh, does anyone know why the cost of balloons has gone up? No. It's due to inflation. Oh. Not to mention, uh, speaking of inflation, uh, Nike's coming out with something to compete with Viagra and Cialis. It's just a little button here that'll pump it up with air because they always keep saying just do it. And uh, Viagra, you know what it has in common with Disney? Uh, you wait two hours for a two minute ride. Not to mention some ladies probably have a sign next to their bed that said you must be tall as this to ride me. <laughs> In fact, I got a prostitute one night the last weekend. She said, you know, if you uh, show up four more times, you get a free blowjob after that one punch card. It's like, my goodness, I didn't know that everyone had these point systems. Even hookers are in on this. Well, speaking of that, I got one more before I go. I got the signal. If you got these three ladies on a street corner and one of them's got a potato sack, which one's the whore? Of course it's the potato sack because it says Idaho. Uh.